The European Union has reached a deal to provide Ukraine with a financial support package worth $54 billion. The agreement was announced during today's EU leader summit in Brussels. The president of the European Council says the package will lock in long-term predictable funding for Kyiv. The deal was made despite Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban's threats to veto the move. Ukraines are suffering and it's a very difficult situation and they are in lack of different types of military equipment, but especially on ammunition. We have promised from uh, the European Union to deliver and uh, we uh, haven't really delivered what we have promised and that's not good enough. So all countries, I think, have to look how to deliver more. And it has been nearly two years since Russia invaded Ukraine and the country's battered economy is in desperate need of aid to stay afloat. Russia says soldiers released in the latest prisoner swap with Ukraine have returned back home. Russian state television showed what it claimed were the former POWs arriving at a Moscow airport. They were taken to medical facilities for treatment. Russia's defense ministry says the two sides exchanged roughly 200 prisoners of war. The swap came despite tensions from the crash of a military transport plane last week that Moscow claimed was carrying Ukrainian prisoners and was shot down by Kyiv.